How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Every time I want to make a video, somehow there's a plane overflying or someone wants to do yard work. But yeah, it's been super busy on my end. I got a bunch of stuff sitting in the garage. There's no room in here. I need to fix it. I also need to do a lot of installs. Been super busy with the baby. Baby's been keeping me up. And it's been raining, so I haven't really been able to get out and do any of these installs. So today, I think I got a couple hours of no rain. So I'm just gonna bang this one out really quickly for you guys. I didn't know that Calories made this until they sent it to me. And what they sent was recovery board mounts, or track board mounts, whatever you wanna call them. Um, so they do work perfectly with the Overland bed rack. Um, I'm not sure if you could retrofit them to any other bed rack. Uh, you could probably find that information online on the website. I'll leave a link down to this down below. And uh, yeah, let's just get into it. So this should be a pretty quick install. First things first is we're gonna take one of these mounts and then mount our long boys onto them. You wanna make sure that your mounts get this way. You see how like this is bumped up. I'm gonna be mounting it like this, like so. This is if you're using this universal lug. Um, I believe this top part here is for like max track pins. So if you're doing what I'm doing, do it this way. So you're gonna take your big boy, throw a washer on that, throw this into the hole, take another washer, throw it on top, and then take a bolt or a nut and then nut it, nut it all the way down. What you're gonna be using is a 3 fourths wrench and a 3 fourths socket with a wrench and then you're just gonna wrench it down. You just want to leave it loose though so you can adjust it later. So when you get these screwed in, you want to make them snug so they're not flopping around and stuff. But you still want to be able to move it left and right. That's how far you want to go. Being interrupted. Look, Theo got bigger. No, I'm just kidding. This is my brother's daughter, Remy. <laughs> so what you're going to need now is one of these oval mounts. One of the mounts that you built up. And then we're just going to go ahead and install it in. It's pretty easy. Uh, you're just going to line this up this way. So you want to make sure the bigger side is inwards. Line up the two grooves here. We're going to be using the two inner ones. I'm just going to throw this oval mount right behind it. Throw a washer in. And then follow up with your nut. And then do it again with another nut washer and bolt and another washer come through nut nut so your next step is actually mount your boards just want to get them all these lined up correctly Throw them on your mount. So, good amount of time has passed. I am just a nice guy and I let people borrow my tools. I didn't have a drum wall, so I had to use a regular handsaw to do this. But the next step after putting this on is to throw these little spacers on. Uh, I chopped about that much off of mine because when I put mine on the first time initially the spacers were too long and I couldn't get the knob down so chopped out about that much easy fix not a big deal just gonna go ahead and throw them all on and then you're just gonna take your knobs and then tighten down your recovery boards So once you have these knobs in, once you have these knobs in, you can go ahead and adjust the left to right, however which way you need it, how you want it. Uh, I'm just gonna get a, grab a tape measure really quick, and then from there, you just tighten everything down, all the bolts and everything. It's 
What's going on guys? Welcome back. This is the day after I ran out of light. So I just wanted to show you guys in the light what it looked like. Um, yeah, so it's here. It's mounted. I went ahead and tightened everything down, made sure of it. I don't know if you guys can tell either. It's a full storm outside and it's raining really hard. So I wanted to show you guys the differences and why I went with this one instead of just putting them back on top of the roof rack. I want to show you guys, so I'm going to just go in the rain really quick and show you guys. So before, I had it mounted up top on top of the roof, which sucked because when I had to screw these knobs off, I had to do it on top of the roof like this. And I had to reach over my awning to get to it. It was just a pain to do. So I had to hop up, reach over, and screw it down. So now, all I have to do is just get up right here, screw them down, pull them off, put them on. And that got very tiring getting all the way up there every time we went camping, because I use these as leveling blocks. So I would climb up, take them off, throw them under the truck, have to climb back up, line it all up, and then screw them back in. This just makes it a million times easier. So I'm glad I went with this. It'll work for any, pretty much any kind of uh, recovery boards. I'm just using these, these are Max. No, these are X Bulls, I think, off of Amazon. So anything Amazon brand, Maxi Tracks, Maxi Tracks, Max Tracks, um, they'll fit on this, they'll fit. So if you're trying to figure out a way to mount your recovery boards, uh, this is gonna be your solution. If you're not using a Cali Rays rack, I would consult with them or figure out if you can make it like retrofit that onto your rack or wherever you want to mount it. Um, it wouldn't be too hard. I don't believe it would be too hard. Um, should maybe have to do some drilling or something like that. I'm not saying you should do that, but I'm saying if you wanted to, you could. They're really good mounts. They're very solid. That's going to stay there. Oh my God, it's raining. Uh, and it's very cold. So I'm just gonna close this out. You guys have a good one. If you guys wanna see more of this stuff, make sure to hit that subscription button. If you like the video, hit that like button. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them down at the bottom, and I'll get back to you as soon as you can. Hopefully, you guys have a great one, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.